Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to perform supervised image classification in RGS. Simply we will be needing some Landsat images to perform the supervised classification. I have downloaded some Landsat 8 images of a particular area of Bangladesh and uh, simply we will be needing the seven bands of Landsat 8 image to perform our classification supervised classification perfectly first of all uh, we have to drag those uh, seven bands here you will understand why we will actually why are we using only the seven bands for our supervised classification okay we have dragged them to the table of contents the seven bands and actually we will be needing to composite these bands we have to merge these bands uh, so for that we will be needing a tool so we are going to the search bar and uh, typing composite bands now we will click on this tool and after some time the this bar will appear and we will input uh, the seven bands that we are trying to uh, combine one by one here okay we are simply inputting this okay after inputting all of them simply we will save the output result you can give any name you want I'm renaming it um, our output result and simply clicking OK. OK, this might take some time. After some time, your uh, process will be completed and our composite image has been created. You can see here it's uh, been already automatically added to the table of contents and you can see that this one two three is actually referring to the band one band two and band three and uh, this combination of one two and three can be changed according to our wish you can see that if I click on this uh, click here yeah, the seven bands shows up actually these are the seven bands and we can choose any of the bands to show in the this uh, red uh, part the seven bands are appearing here and uh, after some time you will understand that why this combination is important uh, why this modification of band combination is important okay in this image you can uh, see that if you want to see the natural color of the image you have to give this band combination here as uh, red as 4 green as 3 and blue as 2 four three two and if you want to um, identify the vegetation cover you have to give five four three okay now if I give the combination of 432 here, we can see the natural color of the Lancet image. This is the color that we will see in bare eyes that we see outside. Uh, the colors of the uh, trees are green. You can see that uh, these are the, this whitish color can be regarded as the settlements or buildings okay different combinations are required to view different types of or different types of land cover is identified by giving different types types of band combinations if we put 764 simply the urban areas or the buildings or um, the settlements get highlighted you can you will be able to see that the bare lands or soils are all also gets highlighted if we provide this false color combination and if you want to see the or identify the vegetation of uh, of an image simply you can give uh, use the com use the combination of 543 
and this reddish or dark reddish uh, colors are actually this dark reddish color is actually representing the vegetations or the green uh, areas okay using this band combination you can simply identify the vegetation cover and uh, suppose you want if you want to identify the agricultural land you can use this band combination from here and uh, simply the vegetation covers uh, or uh, specifically the agricultural lands will be simply shown here If you want to identify the water bodies, you can use this band combination, which is 5, 6 and 4. After this, after using this band combination, simply you can see that the uh, water bodies are getting highlighted in very dark blue colors. Here you can also see that this uh, dark blue colors are also representing the water bodies. Isn't it so simple and easy? Actually using this uh, band combination makes us very makes it very easy for us to perform our supervised classification as we can understand that which part of the um, image is representing which uh, land use or land cover. Okay, now I will simply clip my study area from this whole image. I have a projected uh, shape file, which is a sub-district of Bangladesh. I will simply search for the extract by mask tool and cut the certain part of this image as my study area I, I'm inputting the composite raster that I have created earlier and simply inputting my projected shape file and saving this output you can save anywhere you want okay after saving it you will be able to see that uh, a certain area will be cut of the image certain area of the image will be cut according to my uh, specified study area and I will be performing my supervised classification on this particular part of the image of the composite image that I have created and simply if you uh, provide the 4 3 2 band combination will be able to see the natural color of the area that we see in bare eyes okay before starting we have to go to customize and we then have to go to extension then make sure that this spatial analyst is checked here because if you keep it unchecked your image classification tool or process will not work properly so remember to check this special analyst okay after that we will go to toolbars and uh, active this image classification toolbar and it will appear somewhere in here this is the image classification toolbar and this is the training sample manager that we will be needing now to collect samples for a certain land use okay let's uh, take the water bodies at first if we provide this uh, band combination the water bodies get highlighted and it becomes easy for us to identify the water body so we will click on this training sample manager and to take the samples we will actually go to this draw polygon and click on it 
and simply we will be able to draw polygons or take the samples of a certain uh, land use type as these are the water bodies I'm taking samples from here simply you have to click on uh, the water bodies and after taking the polygon you have to just double click to take the whole polygon try to take samples from different parts of the image and try to take as much a sample as you can I'm not taking that much samples as I'm just doing this video for tutorial purpose to get accurate land uh, use classification or land, cl land classification you have to take as much as sample as you can and try to take them from uh, all over your study area or from all over the images after that you have to click on this merge before uh, merging you simply you have to select them all then you have to merge actually okay select them all like this click on merge and all the samples that you have taken for water bodies will be uh, merged into just one class then you can simply rename it now let's take another land use type or another class let's try to identify the urban areas or the buildings or the settlements of this image uh, simply this uh, are getting highlighted as a whitish color and we will take the samples of these areas which can be regarded as the uh, settlements or the urban area this image actually contains a very little amount of uh, settlements and buildings that's why I'm taking uh, as much as samples as I can okay you have to take more samples to get accurate classification and try to take from the um, whole image not just from one uh, place of the image okay I'm taking just these samples and merging them and simply renaming them as the settlements or the urban area okay now we will take another class let's uh, try to identify the vegetation cover for that I'm giving the 5 for 3 band combination and the uh, very dark uh, um, dark red colors are actually representing the vegetations these are the vegetation so I'm taking some samples from the very dark uh, red colors from here these are representing the vegetation cover okay I'm simply merging them remember you have to take uh, so many classy uh, samples so that your classification comes accurate okay renaming it as vegetation now let's identify the agricultural lands for that simply I'm giving the natural color to identify the agricultural lands the image my image is a little bit unclear to identify by bare eyes that which are the um, agricultural lands but I can assume that these are the agricultural lands and uh, simply selecting some samples from here and uh, you can also use uh, the combination change the combination from here to identify the agricultural lands which is 652 
okay this this pale green colors are representing the agricultural lands i have taken this much samples for the agricultural lands simply i'm merging those and giving them the name of agricultural lands okay afterwards i'm taking uh, going to take my last class which is the ba barren lands or the soil covers uh, these are the soils of the area that uh, we can see from the um, natural color i'm simply renaming is these ads uh, as the barren lands okay after taking all the training samples we have to go to classification and click on interactive supervised classification and after clicking there it will actually uh, show our super supervised and the classified image that we have uh, tried to create you can simply save uh, the uh, output this classes as output shape files anywhere you want if you um, want to take more samples for a single class that we've already created you can simply unmerge those classes of like i have unmerged water bodies and the classes i uh, earlier have taken for the water bodies are uh, the samples for water bodies are uh, showing here you can delete those samples from here that uh, you if you want to delete some and if you want to add some you can simply um, draw new polygons from here you can delete the whole class or the whole uh, sample of class that you have taken I'm simply keeping it as it is I have merged it and simply you can see that our output is here you will be not needing this one you can also cross this one if you click on this training sample manager this will appear again and simply these are d uh, in default are outlined I'm simply removing the outline color from here to make the make my classes more visible okay simply that you can see that these are uh, the pixels of the image of the image is converted into several classes and you can also change the color of these classes by double clicking on the classes class names simply I'm giving the water bodies as blue color the settlement as red color the vegetation as a very dark green color from here okay I'm giving the agricultural land uh, as a little bit light green color giving the barren land a uh, gray color okay simply my uh, classified image has been created and remember that the y you will uh, see that some of the classes are not actually visible here some classes have not been created correctly as I have taken very uh, very little amount of samples you can also uh, take the circular um, samples if you want from here okay now you can see that uh, some of the uh, these water bodies uh, are not selected accurately as i have taken very simple very uh, small number of water bodies that's why these were these have come um, these didn't wear correct in here you have to take uh, much more uh, samples to make this uh, classify make your classifications correct I have already made a video on how can you calculate the area of a certain class from the raster or an image. Please check out my channel and the description below. Thank you for watching.